Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today I will be covering the new update to Signalis that came out yesterday. This update 1.1 is called Sparrow, or Spatz in German, though my German pronunciation is awful. It focused on fixing rare unlisted bugs, a slate rebalance, a change to how debug works, as well as some differing changes to some various assets in the game. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. First up, we don't know what bugs were fixed with this update, as the only detail we got regarding them was that there were some rare game-breaking bugs in some puzzles, and that now they should be fixed. They also fixed some issues that existed with settings, such as the game not properly loading the resolution, refresh rate, and CRT mode settings upon startup. Next, they stated that they improved interaction angles and cooldowns in top-down view, meaning that interactions and standard gameplay should now be better, giving players greater ease of grabbing items and not having to deal with issues overall. They also did some performance enhancements to make the game run better, as well as fix some issues with some assets that they were dealing with. I can attest that my PC no longer heats up as much with a modded version of Synos that I run, so that's a huge pro in my book. However, I have been noticing an increase in crashes. I personally hope that is just because I mod my game, and I hope that isn't something the community is dealing with. They then mentioned a minor rebalancing of sorts. The exact details of it, I can't tell. One thing I did notice is that the shotgun seems different, either more buggy or it does more damage, as I've now observed it clearing entire rooms with one shell. The reason I can't cover the exacts is due to some changes that occurred to debug with this update, which I will now cover. Debug, strangely, is the thing that's been changed the most by this update. The first change is that the hex code method will no longer work. This forces players to use the Osrunin method. For those who don't know, this method involves hitting the F7 key, typing Asrunin, and then hitting enter. It doesn't seem to work sometimes, and I personally have a lot of issues with it. I really hate this method. So I am working on a mod that will automate this process, but I haven't been able to get that to work either at the moment, so I'm going to need some time to unveil that, so for now, just try to deal with the Asrunin method. Next, a couple of commands got some changes. First up, the help command doesn't work. Instead, using it will just send a short message saying you will get no help. And that kind of sucks because it was something that really helped debug users understand the list of commands. Next, Scouter doesn't work anymore. It will flat out not display enemy HP anymore, which was the whole point of the command, meaning it is now really hard to do damage tests and that type of stuff. Go to has been changed as well. It no longer shows all possible locations if you leave it blank, but the command does still work if you know the location's names, so that's at least one positive. Next, in regard to outfits, Outfit 4, which is Isa, has been removed, which really sucks, but things like Sirs can just replace it and give you Isa back. Overall, this is just a quality of life fix, but there is one other thing that I haven't mentioned yet, and that's asset changes. This update 1.1 comes with a series of asset changes that aren't really important if you don't care about exacts, but kind of have some slight lore implications in fixing some of the holes that people had noticed in some assets. One such fix is regarding Arion's hair in the memory scene. In that scene, it was originally long, a lot of people question it, now Ari's hair is short as it should be, and I think it looks rather nice. Next, in the interrogation document, we now have assets of images of the people that were being interrogated. I think this just looks cool, and is a nice thing to add more characters into the lore of the game. Next up, Nikolai has gotten a change in his design. His hair now looks more messy, and overall, I think it's just been done to firmly kill the Adler is Nikolai theory. Personally, I never liked this theory, and I'm really happy to see the devs have changed something to nail it shut forever. And I think that's a positive change. Finally, in the Ulster um, manual, the repair manual, there's been some slight changes to fix a typo that was in that asset. Overall, they changed a bunch of other assets minorly in ways that I personally don't think are worth mentioning, but here is a list uh, that was compiled by Signalis community member Kirk of everything that was changed. Hopefully, this is an update that's a sign that there will be more updates in the future, but I don't really know. This update does mean debug runners are going to have a minor headache moving forward, but I'm really sure we're going to be fine in the end. Hopefully, we get more updates, but until then, this has been Crystal Beast, and I'll see you all next time.